Or you want to talk about an insane flea infestation? This girl lived in my house for three months, had a little chihuahua and a pit bull. The pit bull was, had blood all over its ass, back, and she said it was allergic to grass. And I started spraying it with uh, vinegar, because that's what one of my sisters said to do. Now I've been in hell for the week since she's moved out so far. And I just found all these linens and blankets and stuff stuffed in a closet where every time the dog would bleed on something, she would uh, stuff it in the closet. My whole place is infested. I've been spraying poison and vinegar and all kind of essential oil mixtures and stuff I made for the last week. And now I call the exterminators finally giving in and said, well, better get the exterminator. You know what they told me? Oh, you already put enough poison down. Now all you can do is vacuum for 10 days and hope they go away. And my dogs ain't had fleas in years. And I even bought her dogs flea pills when I noticed that they had fleas eventually. Oh yeah, her name is Ashley Land, in case anybody would like to know. She's from Georgia. Don't ever rent to the crazy broad and her dogs. Tried to help her out much as I could too. She's a sweet girl, but damn, man, need to wake up with this shit. I put borax everywhere. That was the thing that they said would work. Uh, but the eggs keep hatching. You think they're gone, and then all of a sudden, they're all over you again. So you got to stuff your pants in your socks and spray yourself down with borax and uh, vinegar and stuff. And so when they jump on you, you got to keep emptying your canister and cleaning it out on your vacuum. It's a fucking nightmare, man. Nightmare. Be careful who you rent to. I'm walking around with all this dust. Breathing all this stuff from the borax, which is supposed to be dangerous. Her dogs tore up my carpets everywhere. I used to keep them locked in the closet. Tore up my dresser. Look at the, Shut the door on them, and he ripped up the carpet and padding in all the rooms that they were in. Scratched up my doors. One of the main rooms, poor lizard. Look at this is the damage, just some of the damage that their dog. This room was freshly painted when she moved in there. And you can put these little containers of vinegar and essential oils, lemon juice all around, and it does catch some of the fleas that are jumping around. These things can jump like freaking 30 feet or something, and they live for a hundred days. Okay, keep hatching eggs. That's why it's important to vacuum because you're sucking up the eggs and the babies, I guess. And as long as you, you got to stuff your pants and your socks like that so they don't bite you like they were me wearing shorts because they live off the blood. And the babies eat the feces from the parents. I still got to vacuum the whole front room yet and the deck, my deck too, and couch out there and everything, which I've already done this a hundred times, seems like. Uh, and I just, you got to keep on doing it, I guess. Keep on doing it. I got bore, I had this borax everywhere. The dogs used to hang out all out here on my deck, on the couch, everywhere. So, got to vacuum all that, clean my vacuum again, and keep on doing it for 10 days. So, rather than throw away all my blankets and sheets and everything that that girl ruined, I got my brother out here, I'm paying him. Pressure wash everything before I take it to the laundromat. Wash it in some high heat. Oh, oh damn. Told him to do all these rugs, too. And I told him I'd throw an extra 50 in if he does the front of my house. Steady ongoing job with these fleas now. For a week already. And I gotta go 10 more days. I gotta burn a bunch of shit in the burn pile. Pressure wash and all this ain't gonna take it to the laundromat. Whatever salvageable. Alright, so this has been a week long battle against these fleas now. And uh, getting the carpet cleaning machine on it today. I got all this different stuff I'm going to put in there. And I got some of this 
peppermint stuff and pet stain. I got freaking Dawn going in there, freaking ammonia. I've tried everything and I've sprayed all this stuff by hand too, saturated my place with it. And now one thing that I found on YouTube that's supposed to work really well is putting the Dawn in the water. I also put some uh, diatomaceous earth and uh, some uh, essential oils and stuff in there. And you're supposed to shine a light. They're supposed to be attracted to the heat. So I'm going to get going on this carpet cleaning. Hopefully that helps. And this ain't a steam cleaning machine, but uh, if this doesn't kill them after this, I'm going to hire a steam cleaning place to come out here. I actually even contemplated buying a steam cleaning truck mounted unit. I've got these trays with the solution all over the place. This is one of my worst rooms right in here. So far I don't see a whole lot of Got one out on the deck too. That's where them dogs were hanging out out here on my deck too. But uh, you know, they do seem to be attracted to humans more than anything because they're still jumping on me whenever I walk through the room, but yet they're not going for the heat and the play. You got little things of vinegar all over the place too, which actually seem to be collecting some. Uh, poor lizard over there, My one of my renters left for the last three or four days because of all the bugs, can't blame him, but he deserted that lizard. And I've been running my washing machine almost non-stop. My dogs have flea pills uh, regularly and they're still itching like crazy. And one dog's hiding underneath the bed because she's so sick of me spraying her down with stuff. Another vinegar one. You can see there's some fleas in there. Uh, this, oh, there she is. I thought you were under the bed. And, uh, you know, uh, even in my bathroom, I put <laughs> this little foot thing. I put some Dawn in that and filled it up. Figured, what the hell, why not? They were in here washing the dogs, too. So, come on, get in here. Anyway, uh, a lot of freaking different little tricks. Uh, I happen to like the essential oil ones for my room, mostly. And, you know, I thought that there wasn't none in here in my room, and I shook this blanket off, and I've washed these blankets several times, and a bunch of baby ones went in that plate over there, saucer. So, man, don't ever think that you've won the battle against these nasty bastards, because as soon as you do, the eggs hatch, and they're all over the place again. One flea can lay 500 eggs, and literally thousands more are born. And go through the process. Uh, what the hell is that? Get out of here, you son of a bitch. How the hell did that one get in here? Shit, maybe those bugs will eat the fleas. <laughs> here it goes, man. After hundreds of dollars of all kinds of poisons and essential oils and shit that don't work too damn well at least not that I can tell but it's the only thing I want to use around my dogs and getting all that furniture out of there by myself that was fun I had to bust up the couch because it wouldn't fit through the damn door Here's my deck, cleaned it all, put my carpet cleaning machine yesterday, and the pool table and all, hopefully, I should have burned that couch too, probably, I don't know, we'll see. Well, here it is folks, the infestation was so bad, I had to burn all my furniture. I don't know if I had to, but I did, because the motherfuckers just wouldn't go away. And they're still not gone. I'm ripping all these carpets and padding out tomorrow thanks to one fucked up renter that infested my whole place with fleas. There you go. Be careful who you fucking rent to.
Well, after my insane flea infestation, got my little carpet cleaning machine out and I cleaned all my carpets and floors. Everything's up off the floor and turned up sideways, but I'm going to tell you what, this place is cleaner than it's been a long time, man, I'm telling you. Positive thing about them fleas is got me to do all this, clean my whole freaking place. But it was a nightmare, I'm telling you. After Terminix came in, I uh, waited a couple days and then I uh, did all this carpet cleaning, floor cleaning. Burned all my furniture. Uh, if I repeat myself, it's because I'm making a bunch of different videos and putting them together. This is the room that was infested the worst. The mattress was covered up good, so I'm not worried about it. But these two closets right here are what I was worried about, believe me. And them dogs destroyed my carpet and shit too. In front of the door where they were locking them in there. The old deck. <clears throat> Clean the pool table. The pool table's looking cleaner than it has in a long time. Big old tractor and my Challenger 71. Plum crazy purple Challenger there. I just sold actually. I think about buying a Porsche. Anyway, it take me a little while to get this back together, but thank goodness I got it all done. I gotta buy me some new furniture for the front room. This guy's just nasty. I want him to move out through all this shit on top of the bed. He's got trash and open containers and food everywhere. Should have threw his ass out a long time ago, man. Disgusting. People just don't respect your shit. More damage their dog did tearing up the carpet by my door. Look at scratched up my wind all my paint over here on the windowsill, broke out the screen. All kind of shit, man. Look at that damage to the door right there. Gotta repaint everything now too. Gonna repaint everything now. Turn all these lights on the wrong one. I don't even charge people much like deposit or anything. I still got to pressure wash this whole deck and whatever I saved out of few blankets and pillows off the couch all my rugs are out here blankets a few more blankets I burn most of them there's my carpet cleaning machine I'm telling you man I put uh, ammonia and bleach together which you're not supposed to do and I've done it before and oh my god I thought I was gonna have to go to the ER or something there's Elvis love Elvis it was bad though. My sister was freaking out too. You better get your ass to the ER. I'm like, man, I've been through this before. It'll be alright. I don't care as long as this shit's clean. <sighs> Andre the Giant. Yeah, I know. I'm a little bit of a pack rat. Got way too much stuff. Wish I could sell everything. Get me a little hut on an island <coughs> somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I'm <coughs> choking because all the <coughs> bleach and ammonia <coughs> that I mixed together. Oh, God. <coughs> all right, folks. Well, there you go. Better hope you never go through this. I'm telling you. Freaking nightmare. I've been going at this war for at least a week. That's Pebbles. My little girl Pebbles. And my Tinkerbell.
And there's your mommy out there, Fergalicious. What you doing, Ferg? What you doing, my Fergie? Now I just put fresh lime juice all over me and my dogs, and these bastards are still just coming from everywhere. In fact, I think the lemon and stuff attracts them, just like the uh, vinegar, the uh, apple cider vinegar, it attracts them to you. But I guess, in essence, it kills them if you got poison on you too. But my advice would be just call exterminators. Don't waste your time. I've tried every single thing. The, every video that everybody has, except bombing, I haven't done that. I bought some, but I just decided to give it, give it to the exterminators. I'm telling you, these things are unbelievable, diabolical. It's crazy. They've taken over my house. I just want to do one more video about these damn bugs from hell. My dogs have had the veterinary pill in them for a while now. They're still biting and itching. A week and a half later, after this girl infested my house with fleas, I go out there to turn my air down this morning. My floors are completely bare. I usually have throw rugs everywhere. I have literally pulled my couch out and burned it in the fire pit. And all my other furniture, beds and the rooms, everything. Walk out here this morning after laying down tons of poison, vacuuming like crazy, using baking soda. I spread salt all around last night. This poison right here that was pretty expensive, I sprayed everywhere, inside, outside, five times. Have done everything. And these little bastards are still jumping all over my legs. Somebody on YouTube said to let my dogs run around and pick them all up because they are attracted to vibration. They lay dormant until somebody... Here, let me show you something. These bastards are getting all over my legs right now. I don't know if you can see that. But these son of a bitches are unfreaking believable man. I got Terminex coming tomorrow. I bought bombs, but I decided to just go ahead and let the professionals take care of it. Because if it doesn't get rid of them, then it's on them. They got to come back. Unbelievable. Well, I can honestly say, after the war I've been through with these fleas, I didn't think there was any way you could actually beat them. But I'm telling you, I got these white bags on my feet now. I spray them down with apple cider vinegar that attracts them. And man, I've been fighting this war for like a week and a half. I have sprayed so much poison, herbs, everything you can imagine. This is ammonia. Dawn, of course, is a good fighter. I never did set off the bombs. Uh, Boric acid, I put uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda all over the place. Salt is a big enemy. Uh, I just kept spraying, spraying, vacuuming, vacuuming. I burned all my furniture in the front room. I got a carpet cleaning machine. I cleaned the carpet on my whole deck. Um, this poison right here really went a long way, this raid bug barrier. Uh, of course, I, and it's got an electric sprayer on it. Of course, you know, I didn't do the whole outside. I did some of the outside. Uh, this was the worst infested closet where she stuffed all the bloody blankets and linens and stuff. And I've walked through this entire house, out on the deck, everywhere now. And these, uh, I was getting the baby fleas after, I guess, killing all the adults. This is my deck. I got to tell you, my house is cleaner than it's been in a long time. I was going to burn that couch, but I guess I don't need to now. And that's the carpet cleaning machine. I'm going to finish cleaning all my carpets after. Uh, I'm still going to let uh, Terminex come in here today and and do what they do. Because I think an outside barrier needs to be put 
But I'm telling you, I swear I didn't think there was any way you could beat these fleas. But I've walked around this whole place, these white plastic bags on this morning, and nothing jumping on me for the first time. Of course, I stopped letting them feed. I've been doing putting the plastic bags on my legs and shoes, and and then spray the apple cider vinegar with Dawn and uh, essential oil mixture all over those, and it makes them sticky. And then I put either the bed bug flea killer or this uh, ray poison all over my legs and the bag. Uh, apple cider vinegar makes them stick to the plastic and then they die. They are some die hard little bastards though. Let me tell you something. They crawl on that shit for a long time before they actually die. In case I didn't mention, I burned all my living room furniture, mattress out of this other room, all kind of blankets, towels, linens. These are some evil bastards. Let me tell you something. Don't ever think you won the war against them because as soon as you think you killed them, they hatch and come back by the thousands again. It's a nightmare. Got Terminex coming out tomorrow to try to finish up. I'm going to run my carpet cleaning machine on this whole floor and in all these rooms. And hopefully knock them down enough where their stuff's going to kill them completely. Well, here I am with all three dogs in the truck. I have to leave the house for four hours so Terminex you can go ahead and polish off whatever's left. They ain't never been out here and saw all this. Boy, they're like winging out. Don't be jumping out that window. Plus they got out the gate before I left, about gave me a heart attack, chasing all their asses around. Because I left the gate open for the Terminex guy and they went through the doggy door. First time they got loose like that a long time. Tinker, what are you doing, baby? My babies, there they are. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. A lot of Quick follow up on my flea infestation. Had Terminex come out here, had to leave with my dog for three or four hours, come back. A couple hours later, I feel like there's more, the fleas are back, and they're worse than they were. Walk out on my front porch where there's still a bunch of rugs, linens, all that hanging on my fence, and they're all over my legs everywhere. My dogs are still itching like crazy, they have the pill, and now I'm in my sauna at 140 for an hour every day because I heard that they all bugs die at 95 degrees and higher and got Terminix coming back out again. I swear it's like they came out here and gave them food or something and they came back. I'm not buying no more furniture that I burned or putting my rugs and all my stuff back in my new mattresses until I know for sure that these bugs are completely gone. And I live on an all sand ground and I just don't know if they're ever gonna be gone. I'm losing my mind. Let me know if anybody else is going through this. Naked in my sauna, miserable. These bugs, signing out. Hopefully it'll be the last video I make about these pests. Just had to fall out of my sauna. 15 minutes left on the hour again. It's getting taken no more. I feel like I was gonna have a heat stroke or heart attack or something, but I found out that 95 degrees and up kills all bugs, so I figured, you know, Stay in there as long as I can. Been taking nice and diatomaceous earth, sodium bicarbonate, anything that they say kills bugs and parasites inside. Been, been drinking it and putting it all over my house, property, body, everywhere. My dogs, nothing kills these damn fleas, it doesn't seem. Terminex came out, it's like they got worse. I'm wondering if they're, are they feeding them food or something? I don't know. It's crazy. I've been praying. Uh, you know, when I fall out of my sauna like this every day, I've been taking the opportunity to pray, asking God to forgive me for a transformation for the Holy Ghost, anything. Nothing's working. The more I uh, read scripture, the more I watch religious shows, the more I pray, it seems like things just keep getting worse. So I'm just giving it up my faith all together right now. I'm going atheist for a while. I'll see if it stops attacking me so bad. I just, man, I don't know what else to do. I can't take it. what Tom Buttram did 
when he moved out a little while ago. He took food, shoved it all in my floor, left nasty stuff everywhere. Nice. This is what kind of people. And I cut this guy slack every month, man. He was 15 days late every month on his rent. And he does this shit before he moves out. Well, the nasty bug fight continues. I was up all night washing all the bed, bedding, linens, everything. I'm constantly spraying stuff, making my own solutions, all kind of. It's unbelievable. I got a pretty big place and uh, everybody's out of here. I've just like uh, still got all kind of stuff hanging on the fence out there. I need to pressure wash. Here's one thing I've been making up. I really like this uh, raid with this electric sprayer because I can make up my own things and I'm finding out that salt and vinegar dries up about any kind of bug and this uh, Castile soap right here with spearmint in it too is one of their greatest enemies but I take vinegar any kind of vinegar uh, this lavender Epsom salt Himalayan bath salt and this one's eucalyptus and spearmint, which uh, bugs hate all this stuff. And I'm going to saturate my place. I already cleaned my carpet with my carpet cleaning machine. I almost killed myself because I mixed ammonia and bleach together. Uh, my lungs have been hurting for like three or four days. I mean, don't ever do that. I mean, I, this is like the third time I've done that just because I wanted it to be so powerful it would kill anything. But you know what? It almost killed me. And I'm sure my dogs don't appreciate it either. And the diatomaceous earth I've been putting in this thing too. And I washed my dogs with some of that on them last night too. And Dawn, I got some Dawn in here, which is really good. And I'm going to add some warm water. I'm going to go spray outside, inside, all the rugs everywhere. Hope this helps somebody. The insane infestation of fleas continues. And I got a feeling that... There's probably other mites, even lice involved, maybe even super lice because of all the poisons and everything that I have saturated this place inside and out with. This is my favorite little sprayer here with electric. I put stuff in there. But anyway, this is the new stuff I'm doing now. It's supposed to be the most powerful stuff they have. Uh, the IG regulator and the Viper and this high yield insect killer right here. They say you can put it on your animals, but I haven't got that carried away yet. I might soon. And then I got all these little uh, sprayers set up when I personally walk around. Everywhere I go, I spray down everything with this. It's a mixture like vinegar, orange oil, all kinds of essential oils and stuff. I've literally burned all my carpets, all my uh, furniture in the front room, everywhere. This mattress in here I haven't burned yet because it's pretty new. This was one of the most infested rooms here, though, but uh, I'm probably going to end up... Uh, burning it. I've uh, sprayed it down, saturated everything with with the new poison just a little while ago. Uh, my brother cleaned up this room with the carpet cleaner yesterday and scrubbed the whole floor down with pine saw and uh, didn't burn that box spring yet. Maybe I should. We'll have to look see if there's any bugs on it, but uh, it is crazy. It has been crazy. I'm even putting... Uh, like in my dog's water, putting uh, apple cider vinegar in my dog's water because it said it helps keep bugs off of them. This couch we burned yesterday off the deck, and my brother carpet cleaned it and sprayed it all down with poison. I got to get out there and spray my truck too because me and my dogs had to go to a hotel uh, while I set bombs off in here. Yeah, we went there overnight and came back. It seemed like uh, I killed most of them, but then we found them again on a, in between a mattress, man. they I guess after Terminus came and I did them bombs, them little bastards ran down in between the mattress and box spring. It's unbelievable, man. My washer and dryer has been going almost nonstop, and I thought everything was cool. Every time I do, next thing you know, my dogs went outside this morning, came back in with them all over them again. I shaved my dogs. That was one of the smartest thing I did. So now I can see them on them a lot easier. They can't run and hide so much. Believe me, that's a job though, man. And my dogs, they are very hard to give a bath. It's almost like doing an exorcism. Oh my God, what a nightmare. It's unreal. It's unfreaking real, man. I never knew that fleas could get this bad. I never... Never thought. And dogs, you can't go out yet. You gotta wait about an hour. Clothes I took to the hotel. I mean, food for the dogs, all kind of stuff. Um, 
I've been getting in this sauna of mine every day, staying in there at 140 degrees for like a half or 40 minutes to an hour, long as I can take it because I heard that anything above 95 kills all bugs. So in my dog's yard, I just saturated again, but I hope this helps somebody. It's a terrible thing, man. Don't never let anybody in your house that has animals that don't have flea pills and, uh, that they don't take care of. I missed getting my dog's pills uh, for a while during the winter and stuff when they didn't have no bugs. In fact, my dogs didn't have any bugs on them until these uh, dogs laid in here and rolled on my carpet and everywhere outside and planted them eggs and uh, feces and stuff everywhere. And then they, uh, the eggs hatch. In th one female lays like 500 eggs and then they turn into like thousands. And then they get turn into larvae and cocoon and they, they can hibernate or whatever until they feel some vibration man me and my dog sat in my room after we seen them everywhere out here after fighting it like crazy and burning all kinds of shit sat barricaded in my room man afraid because we were the only ones make making noise they were the only ones left everybody's out of here except for me and my dogs and i had the tv going and fans going back there vibrating and they go towards whatever vibration they hear and next thing you know they were in my room and on my dogs and had to bomb the place and go stay at a hotel. Man, I swear, I thought we were going to die from fleas, if you can believe that infestation. That's how bad it can get. This ain't no joke. Y'all better take this seriously, because I would never want to have to go through this again. It's a terrible thing. Anyway, I do one more video about this crazy flea infestation. My whole house is pretty much empty now. Nobody else living here with me and my dogs, and it's going to be that way for a while because I have to repaint everything. And I'd like to rip out the rest of the carpet and all. My brother came, and uh, we found some more little babies after several times of killing everything, and they keep coming back. Uh, burned a whole bunch of more furniture and everything carpets high dollar carpets I had bought all kind of stuff and I've almost died a few times from this the one time from breathing the bleach and ammonia that I bleach and ammonia that I mixed in my carpet cleaning machine and breathe all day and almost went to the ER and my dogs were breathing it too but then I got that high yield and that real strong poison I sprayed my dog's yard. I guess they were out there eating the grass that was on, and I was breathing it. <coughs> and I put some on my head and on my ankles, which was stupid. When I took a shower, I opened my eyes and let the water run thin. That stuff got in my eyes, almost burned my eyes out of my head. Blisters got on my eyes, and my eyes were burning out of my head all day long. And the next day, too, my dogs got real sick, almost died. That's the mother, Fergie. She was the worst. And <clears throat> Pebbles, she wasn't too bad, but Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell right there was real bad, the white one. Pebbles, she didn't do too bad, but days later, <clears throat> this could have been a renter that I threw out, too. He might have poisoned him on the way out of here because he did some really nasty stuff, and he's just a nasty individual. You got to be real careful who you rent to or have in your life or in your house, I'm telling you. Like this girl that infested my house with these dogs and with the the dogs are hers and the fleas and I even think there's mites involved and anyway I bought the real powerful stuff and we all got sick almost died from it so be extremely careful I don't care how bad the bugs get on you or whatever don't put that stuff on yourself and be very careful around your pets but anyway here I am again now I feel like you know, maybe they're gone. You got to vacuum every day or every other day or whatever. Been doing, trying to do that. That's a big job. I'll tell you, this is a full time job. Your washer and dryer will be going non stop because you got to constantly wash whatever linens, blankets, and everything you have left. We had to go get a hotel for a night because I set off the bombs, the cans, and uh, it seemed like everything was dead the next day when I got back, cleaned everything up and all, and that nasty mess that that renter left in there. and then the bug showed up again the next day. It just, it's like they're indestructible. It's crazy. I'm scared to even walk out in my living room or out, out anywhere. 
I pretty much stay in my room with my dogs because these bugs, it's a scary thing, man. We were in here barricaded uh, with the door shut the night before I did the bombs thinking, oh man, there's nothing moving around out there in the front room or anywhere else in the house, only here in the bedroom. Me and my dogs watching TV and we're in here thinking, man, they're probably marching this way. And sure enough, they showed up. That's when I freaked out and I threw my dogs in the truck, went to a hotel, 150 bucks for a night with dogs and uh, set them bombs off. Came back the next day, <coughs> cleaned everything up and they showed up again. This seems to be never ending. I hope one day to win this war against these bugs and have my place back to normal again. Anyway, good luck, y'all. Be careful. It's a wicked war. One that I never even thought existed. I never knew that fleas could be this bad. Anyway, God bless. Good luck. Well, apparently, right after I did that video about become an atheist and giving up on God because I felt like I was getting cursed worse every time I got into the Bible and everything. Is when my dogs almost died. And I almost died and everything. Maybe, you know, it's a powerful lesson there. And also, you know, don't do like I did and spread diatomaceous earth and sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate and borax all over the place, which the uh, diatomaceous earth is the worst because, worse because when I went into vacuuming, my whole house filled up with a cloud of white dust, and that dust is very dangerous for your lungs. Um, and my dogs were breathing it. And so then, you know, I did the ammonia and bleach after that, and almost had to go to ER. So, you know, y'all just be careful. And also the real strong poison that burned my eyes out, and my lungs almost killed my dogs. That was after I said the thing about giving up on God and um, you know, I was getting cursed from reading the Bible and all that. No, the truth is that when you're supposed to be a Christian, when you've been baptized and you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, then you get cursed. The devil is allowed to do things to you because it's supposed to drive you back towards God, which it does. And I mean, best thing that's come out of this whole thing is I've gained more discipline and I'm fasting a lot more and I'm watching a lot more religion and I'm just trying not to, you know, fornicate and or do anything, you know, it's, I just don't want anything else bad to happen. So hopefully some people learn from my mistakes and don't have to go through this.